In this demonstration, I'm going to take you through the new automatic PMI table enhancements for the NX Technical Data Package solution in 1953. You'll see I've got an example part here with a number of user-defined model views containing PMI. And I've also got a template that I've created to show the example of the automatic PMI table enhancements. So in this case, a very simple template, just showing a viewport and a view carousel to be able to allow me to change between the model views, and then the automatic table, specifically PMI table. If I open this up, you'll see that uh, in previous releases, we've added support for additional configuration of the PMI. Uh, we've added support for the ability to define the size of the, uh, the individual columns. And, uh, and we have also added the ability to add a PMI filter on the published content that allows me to publish or, or uh, filter the published content specifically around various PMI object types. In this particular release, we've added a new option called Zoom to PMI. And this is another object that gets added to the published table that allows me to zoom in and focus in on the on the uh, PMI object when publishing to 3D PDF. We've also added a uh, type filter uh, to the uh, PMI table object in the template mode. This allows us to go in there and define the types of objects that we actually want to publish. So for instance, I can specify that I want to publish all dimensions, annotation, uh, or I can toggle off some of these options. So if I didn't want balloons or specialty notes, I could toggle those off. And then those do not get published to the technical data package. When I'm done, I simply click on the publish option. And I'll specify that I want my automatic PMI table example. I'll specify in this case user defined views and publish the content. When it's done, it opens up in Adobe Acrobat Viewer, and I can see that I've got control over the model views themselves. I can pick on some of the geometry to see it highlight, and I can also click on the various model views in the view carousel to change what's being displayed. In the PMI table, I can see that as I pick on individual PMI objects in the table, you can see that the view changes, the viewport changes, to reflect the view that contains that particular PMI object. I've got the ability to go in and filter to specify that I just want to see, in this case, dimensions. I just want to see feature control frames, or I want to see all objects. And I've also got the option to zoom to PMI. And again, when I select this option, what it will do is it will, again, highlight the PMI in the view. It will zoom in and uh, identify it a little, a little easier to see in terms of the overall display. Again, if I turn this off and I select it, the uh, aspect ratio for zooming is not controlled. So this gives me more control over isolating just that content. So this represents some of the enhancements we've made to the NX Technical Data Pack solution in the 1953 release to support people's transition from drawing-based workflows to utilizing technical data packages.